strength, power, and flexibility. Strength, power, and flexibility. You say it now. Strength, power, and flexibility. Woo! Hey, guys. It's Karen again. How you doing? You're feeling better. Yeah, that's what I wanted to hear. Go get them. How about that? Strength, power, and flexibility. Now we're talking fitness. So, people will come in and they say, oh, well, I just want to lose a little here. Or I want to lose a little here. Or let, let me ride that, that big toe. I want to lose that. Ugh. Truly, what we have to do is make sure that our core is strong. Okay? Our core. And you say, well, what are you talking about, core? Mm. Core, I'm looking at your abs, of course. But that's not the only thing. When we, we're talking about abs, we also need to think about the entire core. So we're going for our abs here, okay? And that also includes your obliques, which line your sides right here, your internal and your external. You know how you have those cute little love handles? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're like, they're not so cute. Yes, so you have to work on those, but you also have to work on your back. So your back and your abs work in a beautiful partnership when they are strengthened together. You can't have weak back, strong abs, strong back. We get, boom, we gotta try to push them together, form a unit, and make it happen. It's gonna increase your flexibility, increase your strength. It's gonna be awesome. And of course, in strength, your what? Increase your what? Power. One of my favorite exercises of course, is to plank. Oh, I hear people, oh, please don't throw, oh gosh, what was that? that was a tomato. <laughs> ah. Anyway, the reason why I say that is because it builds that strength. It's a pain in the butt at first, literally sometimes, but once you do it and you become proficient at it, you can do it all. Yes, you can. And it makes you stronger to do other things like, oh gosh, pull-ups, uh, uh, push-ups, a little bit of everything just regular weightlifting, because once again, let me show you something. We're gonna go into a plank, nice and easy, okay? Come with me. Nice and easy. So here we are, we're on the floor, and we got our elbows right here, nice and easy, real close in, cool. And then we're right here. Now you can, first of all, start with the plank on your knees, nice and easy. So you're planking kind of on your knees, um, so, you can do that and just go nice and easy and you can still feel that if you've got some some difficulties and everything start nice and easy and just do it this way not a problem you can kind of hold that up there and after a while you begin to really feel it but the regular plank if you will is like this you got that puppy up there yeah the thing you got to remember is to squeeze those glutes and hold those abs in keep that back flat and boogie Exciting. Yes, it is. You can feel it. I can feel it. Whoop, whoop. Let's do it. Boom. The beautiful thing about planking is it makes you stronger. You start nice and easy. I would suggest timing yourself 10 minutes. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> 10 seconds at first. You go, oh my God, this is not fun. Then you want to go on to 20 seconds. Then you want to go on to 60 seconds. Bam. You get Your body will get used to that. It's kind of a mystery because you do that and all of a sudden, bam, it comes back in the middle of the day. You go, oh my God, what did I do? Very, very important to do. Ab work, it's very, very important because you're helping your back too, just like I said. So another thing you can do are crunches. Yes, it is. Some people say yes, some people say no. I do crunch and whee, you're here nice and easy. When you get on the floor, just take your time, just roll it back, nice and easy, okay? Before you start this, just kind of stretch a little bit so the body knows, okay, great, I'm working on this, I can do it. Oh, that's cool. Because if you listen, your body will talk to you. Okay. Now, <clears throat> I know I'm going to put my feet up like this, my legs are up like this. I'll take my hands, and instead of putting them behind my neck, like we did in the military for many, many years back in the brown boot days. And then we go, and you're not supposed to do that. We just learned that. And so because we've learned it differently, I take my hands and I put them under my arms. I could put them here, 
and I like to put them under my arms or I could just leave them at my sides actually but I put them under here and I come up just a bit one two three and when I crunch I'm pushing in with my abs woohoo yes there you go nice and easy working on that awesome body Toosh. nice and easy boom <gasps> yes to crunch so when you're crunching and once again you got to remember the squeeze method because you want to continuously squeeze those glutes up because you want them to help you they're helping you if you squeeze them just right they're going to help you and you're going to push in right here keeping that going this is it's an art it's wonderful you do it and you go i got this you're watching your breathing nice and easy and in and in ah, i love those things that is really cool now there's several other oh i'm losing my money hmm. <laughs> there's several other exercises you can do for your abs when it comes to the core there are so many exercises you can do but i don't want you to forget about them and you'll eventually you'll say oh i really like this one i really like that one i hate the plank i'm not going to do it i'd rather do a burpee there's all kinds of great stuff to do and you're going to decide that on your own and say i really like this this feels better i just want you to get up and move that's very important you have to keep moving and i'm so excited because i can see you guys out there planking now and calling me all kind of bad names i could I, yeah that's good so you guys do that you know how to reach me if you have any questions or anything and that's going to be really important here you are on facebook with me at wellnessworksnorthwest.com i always forget those little things in there so bam you can reach me on facebook you could reach me on twitter uh, email the whole nine yards and just kind of let me know what you're thinking if you're having some issues or if things are just going fantastic i want to know that too so remember the core and so much more you got to have that flexibility once you do these enough you will begin to have more flexibility your back will bend the better you'll be able to do things oh i can go over a little bit my range of motion is better it's a wonderful thing so just try them nice and easy start on your knees if you need to not a big deal and just go what was she thinking nice and easy then take your time and kick them all the way up it's going to be fun i know that so mm. i thank you so much for listening for being out there da -da -da -da. so you guys keep smiling keep thinking positive okay and understand that your commitment to fitness is awesome i know you can do it you can have all that strength all that power that you need and that flexibility. I'll see you soon. Thank you.